Hey, good morning. Just got done with the workout. Kicked my own butt. Feeling pretty good though. But I just wanna put this out there. We've got a file going right now. I just wanna just, public service announcement, okay? If you're in a car business or you've gotten a car like everybody else has and you've gotten financing like most people have, average, uh, you know, average car loan is about $513 around the country. Uh, but financing for a car is much, much different than financing for a mortgage, okay? It, when you're buying a house, there's a lot more detail. There's gonna be a lot more documentation that's gonna, you know, needed. It's not just about your credit score. It's not just about one score and, and so forth. It's about three scores. It's about full documentation. It's about if there's a large deposit, we need to see where it's coming from. This is all normal stuff since the crash. So to me, it blows me away that people, and it's not their fault. It's, it's our fault in the mortgage industry, I think for not educating enough. And that's why I try doing these videos as they come up. Uh, but when you're buying a house, make sure you have all your stuff in order. Make sure you don't move money around. Make sure you just don't put money down and all of a sudden there's a large, large deposit that you can't source in season. After the crash, the biggest pain in the butt that people wanna see is where's the money coming from. The reason is not because you're a drug dealer, not because you're buying drugs, selling drugs, keeping money under the mattress. Well, some people do that. But basically it's about making sure you're not taking any other debts that's not known outside that can affect your mortgage down the line, okay? But just the easiest thing, and I mean, people have been watching for years that I've been doing these videos. I mean, I got people come up to me a lot saying, hey, thanks so much for the videos and this and that. And sometimes like you just think you're in your own bubble. But the biggest thing is, you know, just listen the first time and get us what we need. If we do that, our average close time is less than 22 days, sometimes a lot less. We just closed a VA loan in about 14 days a couple of weeks ago. But if you just listen there's a reason behind it. Believe me, if it was up to me, you will sign one piece of paper. I wouldn't need any documentation and we're good to go. But that's just not common sense. And it's not reality. Uh, that's what got us into this mess in 2005, 4, 3, up to 2008. Um, so if you just listen to exactly what we need, uh, then things can go a lot easier. OK, um, if you don't and you fight and fight and fight, then, you know, then it's just going to be a battle and, and so forth. But you just. And it's the same, not just for us, it's for any lender. If you're going through Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, which 95% of loans are going through, uh, then it's going to be an issue, okay, if you don't listen. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions on that. Have a great day. I need a shower. <laughs> I stink after working out. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.